hey, you know what? Same size shoe as me. I bought high heel shoes for her when she was in freaking Alaska because she couldn't get anything shipped there in a reasonable time for the Air Force ball when you was still military. Yeah. I was like, well, we have the same size foot. So I went to whatever woman bougie foot store and I was like, here you go. Here's $300 shoes. She was like, well, I wasn't going to buy those. I was like, I mean, you liked them, right? Hmm. She was like, well, yeah. I was like, just pay me what you can. So I think she paid me like half or a little bit over half. And I was like, that's good. All right. I mean, whatever. I, I don't care. You at least have shoes faster than. So, so funny, funny note on that is that my dad is the one who picks out my mom's shoes. Okay. Right. It, which is funny because he, he is a very like masculine person, right? I wouldn't exactly. I wouldn't label your dad as Metro. If he's Metro, he's very minimal Metro. Like, he cares about his appearance. Yeah. But not to the point of, like, I care what other people think about my appearance. Right. Not, I mean, not any more than anyone like you or me care about what other people think of our Exactly. Appearance, right? I, would, I would definitely label him masculine, minimal Metro. Yeah. Because there's definitely a mix between the two. With but, everyone, not just him. Everyone has a masculine Metro level. Well, not everyone. There are some folks out there who they're so uncomfortable with their masculinity that they can't, they can't even consider. You're right. And then we just have the people that are in denial. Yeah. Because everyone cares about their appearance somewhere. Yes. But your dad buying your mom's shoes. I mean, it's just a thing, right? Is it just because he cares about the appearance of it? Or is it because... It's because apparently he's really good at picking out shoes. So does he have a better style? Or is it just they're better shoes for her that's more comfortable that she enjoys? Style-wise. Plus, I mean, obviously comfort takes into account, right? Because you're, if you buy a pair of shoes and they're uncomfortable, you're not going to wear them. That's just how that works. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's how that should work. And if you're wearing shoes that are uncomfortable... Get rid of them? Yes. I mean, that's... Or, here's the well, other side of this. Donate. Girls, if you're going out for the night... And you're hitting the town. That's Jess. I'm back. And you're wearing your heels. Please, for the love of God, pack some flats Have and your fucking bag. Or something. Yes. Yep. Please, because before the end of the night, you will you're end up barefoot otherwise. Yep. The number of times I've experienced this is exponential. It's crazy because what you just said is happening or has happened in the past couple months with me and Jess. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, I like these shoes. You should get these shoes because this. I like the look of them. They look more comfortable. They look more stylish. Yep. And she's like, eh. And then we went back in another time to buy another set of shoes. Now, no. To date, she has 42 different pairs of shoes. I know because I bought your... I talked to one of the shoe connoisseurs, one of my black friends at work, because they care more about shoes than most white people. Right. Period. And he was like, oh, yeah, here's, here you can buy this. You put them in there. They have a vent hole in the back, vent hole in the front, so they don't stink up wherever. And you place them in this little container. So I went and bought shoes. I bought shoes about two months later. I was like, what about these shoes? She was like, well, you recommended them to me before. I was like, well, you want to try them on? She tried them on loved them to the point she loves these shoes. She wears them all the time. And I was like, mm. I would have saved like, I don't know, 40 bucks <laughs> if you would have bought these the first time. Well, I can't judge on like, because I collect shoes. I can't judge now. At the time I could judge because I just bought <laughs> two different, because we bought the same shoes because yeah. they're a Skechers lookalike. They're being 86, never going to exist again. And I was like, well, cool. So I bought them. I bought them be or they were gifted to me. And I was like, hey, Mike, these shoes are really cool. They're all terrain. They're weather... They're water resistant. Yeah. They're my work boots. Yeah. Work boots. Work sketchers. For for summer. They're in everywhere. I wore them on the bike. Great. Don't care about them getting dirty. Bought another pair and they're just still in the box. Like I care about shoes to the point I bought a pair of Adidas. I love. Yeah. But they're my sunny time shoes. If it's raining, not wearing them. Well, I mean, I have. Pearl. I have multiple different pairs of boots. I still have all my combat boots because they were all, they were all unserviceable, but they're but still work. 
still work. I wear them around the yard all the time, right? I've seen it a couple times. You you've worn your if you catch on the K and M channel, you'll yeah, definitely no, see. Yeah, normally I'm wearing them there because I don't care what happens to them. Fuck it. 